Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. Now, I always die when the temperature gets too high. That is the thing that always kills me. No matter what, it always gets to me. So, in this episode, I am going to solve the crisis of the temperature once and for all before it ends my very existence. I will not allow it to end my... Oh, I will not allow this heat nightmare to end my entire existence, no. I will cut it off at the pass. I will not allow it to get to me because I am good at games. I am good at the game playing. I've played games and I've played them goodly and I will not be any different in this game here. Okay, so if I need to solve this water crisis, I'm thinking what I gotta do is I gotta try to find an ice biome. I mean, that's the only thing that makes sense to me right now at this juncture. So if I need to find an ice biome, that means I need to go in the statistically most likely way that I'm gonna find some ice. And because if I can find some ice biome, then I'm gonna have an unlimited amount of ice. Then I can have all these things are running I want. Then I can cool it down no matter what. I can bring that in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create some airlocks. Just have a kind of a double airlock thing going on because I always like it with a deodorizer. I don't know if that's gonna help, but I'm gonna basically do that. And we're just gonna go straight out, two by two. And that's it. And hey, we'll get some coal on the way too, which is coal is what we need because that's the only thing that we're gonna use to power this kind of thing. Even though for some reason we don't have any coal in this and even though it's a priority 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 and even though it's a priority. Even though it's a priority, it doesn't seem to be something that's actually happening. Look, gold old dumpling, I love you, but you ain't doing it right. Good old dumpling, what's even that hat that you got going on? That's. That's the ranching hat. Why don't you have the farming hat? Mm. No! Ah, oh, damn it! I didn't mean to click that. I meant to. Ah, oh, I didn't mean to click. God damn it! I didn't mean to click that, Slumpo. What are you even doing with your life? Uh, sorry, Slumpo. You're gonna be uh carrying stuff. You're good. You're a carrying kind of person. Evil baby face. What are you even doing with your life? Nothing. All right, you're gonna be carrying. Mm -hmm, someone's gotta be farming. Good old dumplings farming, that's all, that's all we need, okay. All right, but no matter, it, it doesn't, wow. Man, whoever digs, they're really good at digging. Okay, what have we got going on here? Okay, ooh, two geysers. I wonder what those geysers are all about. Maybe hydrogen, given that there's hydrogen over here. Hmm, one of this one might be steam, given the water. Hmm, maybe? Oh shit, water. Eh, it won't stop me. I'm unstoppable. I can always go up a step, I guess. Shoom, there we go. Problem solved. Perfect. Love it. Is that chlorine? That's not good. Wait, no, hang on a second. Wait, no, chlorine's not good. Wait a minute. These are gonna be air there's gonna be some airflow here. Problem solved forever. Problem solved forever. Do I need more duplicates? Because if I've got plenty of oxygen and I've got plenty of food, then I should be able to sustain more duplicates, right? 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 Should should I have more duplicates? Should I have more? I usually get into the problem where I have too many and then that's no good, but right now I seem to have too, too many. I'm gonna get one more. We're gonna get up to 10. Even though I don't have 10 for the distribution of the correct number of apartments here, I could always put another level below it, I guess. Yeah, that'd be fine. I'll probably do that. Okay, but whatever, it doesn't matter. That's chlorine getting in our base. This chlorine getting in our base. That's not good. Wait, hang on. <laughs> that's not good. That's not what you want to see. My thing can't clean chlorine. That chlorine's just... Oh God, I forgot. Bleach stone just creates... Oh God, no, this was a mistake. Oh, why did I go through here? Oh, I could have contained literally any other location, but this, oh, I don't know how to fix this. I don't know how to fix this. Oh God, because that's just going to create more chlorine. The bleach stone, that all, that's all that do. Oh God, it's little skulls. Oh no, what have I done? Oh no, well, I think it's fine. If a little chlorine is in my base, I don't think that's too much of a problem because chlorine's real heavy. And that means chlorine's going to fall down to the bottom. It's not even going to be a problem. I'm not even gonna worry about it because it's not a problem. Why would it be a problem? <laughs> it's not a problem. I'm guessing I don't need these sinks anymore now that we got sinks there. So I think we'll be fine without sinks for right now. And then I can add more chairs for the other duplicates that are gonna come by. Oh God, that just released more bleach stone. Oh no. Oh, somehow that's worse. Somehow I've made it even worse. All right, you know what? Fine, fine. You know what? I'm not even gonna deal with you. I'm gonna leave the doors open because they need to breathe in there anyway. So I, I might as well just push oxygen in because I bet my oxygen is gonna win this fight and then I can push chlorine down here and compress it a little bit. 
With the amount of oxygen, I mean, there's just more oxygen up here, so it's a good thing. It's a good thing. Okay, let's speed it up a little more. How we doing? Hunting down temperature. Oh, what is that? Something's up there. Okay, for some reason, and I don't know why, but it just gets colder around where geysers are. Did they change? Did they take out the ice biome? Is it only heat biome? Is that all I've got? Is I only have heat? Didn't think I didn't expect that. Okay, whatever, it's fine. Who needs it? Not me. <laughs> Certainly not me. We're all fine. How's the temperature doing? Bad? Good. Go. Oh, mmm, that's too spicy. That's a little too spicy. Why is there water here? Where'd this water come from? Who peed pure, pristine water all over the place here? I'm just setting up some temporary beds for people to have once, uh, once we get that all in order. Maybe I'll just extend it out one more over, and then I could have three, and then I'd have twelve. And I think twelve is a pretty cool number, but then it's really warm over there, and I don't want to infect the warmness, so I, mean, I better just build it down here. Now that I think about it, now that I've thunked a little more about it, I could probably do that, and that might be a little bit better. There's still no ice! Oh no! <laughs> we have gone nowhere in this adventure! <laughs> we have done nothing! Did they take out the ice biome? Oh, I bet they did. Oh, I bet they did. They thought it was overpowered, and now we don't need it anymore. No, no, we don't have any ice. Okay, it's fine. Because I say it's fine. And if I say it's fine, that means it's fine. Um, oh, new friend, new friend. Who do we got? Auto, Ashcan, Auto, Gourmet. We could have a chef. We could actually have a chef. Auto, well, not Auto, Slickety Ragnar the Great. <laughs> oh, yeah, my mom calls me Auto. My friends call me Slickety Ragnar the Great. <laughs> All right, okay, Slickety Ragnar the Great. <laughs> what are these random names? <laughs> these random names are absurd. Slickety Ragnar the Great. <laughs> I am Slickety Ragnar the Great. Your name is too big, <laughs> Slickety Ragnar the Great. And I literally can't say anything besides your full entire name. Slickety Ragnar the Great. Slick. Ragnar the Great. All right, um, I suppose I could put some decorum in here. That might be nice. Ooh. That's nice. Why is there water in here? Oh, the sink. Oh, that's right. Okay. That makes sense. There's still water just here, but I'm just gonna destroy it and get water everywhere anyway because I'm an asshole. That's where the wa- Oh, now it makes- Oh, I get it. Now I'm an- a hole. Oh, I get it. Oh, I get it. Okay. Well, anyway, hey, we've got new friends. Slickety Ragnar the Great. Hey, you like carrying? I thought you like cooking. Didn't you like cooking? I thought you like cooking. Hey, whatever, man. Carrying. <laughs> That's all I need from you. <laughs> uh, carrying? There we go. Okay, improve carrying. Good job there, buddy. You're gonna be carrying the team on your back. Okay, how are we doing over here? All right, so far so okay. 36, temperature's kind of going down that way, but I don't know if that's actually an indication that anything's good. We now have access to another ocean for whatever that's worth, and I'm pretty sure it's not worth very much. Hey, Slickety Ragnar the Great, do you know where your bed is? Where's Slickety Ragnar the Great? Sl Slickety, Slickety? What? Slickety, but you're- it's clearly right here. Comfy bed? You don't need a comfy bed. You need this bed. Why do you have food poisoning? Why do you have food poisoning? What did you do, Slickety Ragnar the Great? You didn't even get any sleep. You so dumb. Okay, temperature is still- Oh no. Oh no. That- That's the beginning of the end. This is the beginning of the end. If I cannot get that- I'm sorry. I still think it's the beginning of the end. It's the beginning of the end. We need to turn some of these off. This is where it all goes wrong. I swear this is where it all starts to go horribly wrong. I know this to be true. But hey, we got a lot of water. That's good. Okay, so that's gonna be the last of the stuff that we produce in there. All very good. We might be in a bit of trouble. We might be in a bit of trouble. We might be in a bit of trouble. Okay, we gotta get the temperature down. How do we get the temperature down? I mean, the only thing we have are these ice e fans, but they're not actually doing anything good because I mean, it's just it's it's just not 
going to really be enough. I mean, it's trying to pump colder air through here, but even that air is still kind of toasty. The only way that I know to cool things down is to, would be to put more there, but I don't have enough ice to make enough. <sighs> and I'm just making more and more heat. No matter what I do, it's not like I have enough ice anyway. Let me try an experiment. I'm going to put these at level seven and these at a level six just because I'm wondering what'll happen over time if we just have a lot of people on these utilities. And we have a couple more. So right now, the imminent threat is the heat death of our universe. So if there's not even enough oxygen here to supply that wet, where's all my oxygen going? Why is it all pumping out? All right, I'll turn them all on. Okay, turn them all on, I guess. We are producing a lot of CO2, I guess. That should be enough to offset it. Ah, whatever. It'll start up more soon. Yeah, I think it's getting better. Yeah, that will that should be enough. If it's not enough, then we will be dead. Hey, we've actually made quite a bit more water. We've actually- we're actually doing pretty good on the water generation. I'm kind of surprised. We're- we're doing shockingly good on the water generation. Long commutes? Yeah, we're starting to get a long commutes now. Um, I think it's just a factor of, well, that's a lot of water. That's so much water. <laughs> that's so much water. When you said that there were going to be oceans in here, I didn't think you literally meant that there were going to be oceans. But it's all, there's all water I can't use. How am I going to be able to use that water? <laughs> it's so much water and yet nothing I can use. What do you do? You create lettuce. Lettuce. Crunchy, slightly salty leaves from the waterweed plant. Quality terrible. Calories 400. Ha, ha, ha! No, 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 new friend. New friend. Yes, add to the problem. <sighs> I just want specialized people. Sorry, goodbye. I'm taking these. I don't want to add too many too quick. Oh, it's the beginning of the end. 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 Oh, it's the beginning of the end. It's the beginning of the end. Oh, it's the beginning of the end. Oh, it's the beginning of the end. It's so the beginning of the end. It's the beginning of the end. It's just the beginning of the end. It's plainly the beginning of the end. It's the beginning of the end. Like, it's just the beginning of the end. It's the beginning of the end. I, I can't state how much this is, in fact, the beginning of the end. It's just plain old the beginning of the end. It's just the beginning of the end. Oh, it's the beginning of the end. There's so what? There's so much ocean everywhere. If even a little bit of that flooded my base, I would be doomed to horrible, horrible death. It's the beginning of the end. I can fight this. I can fight it. I can fight it. It's not the beginning of the end. Why is there carbon dioxide here? Why is there carbon dioxide there? That's bizarre. Okay, I don't know why that is. I would feel like this should be getting a little more than this. I'm gonna make this permeable. Okay, temperature is not really dropping. Oh, wait. These got built, so that's pretty good. Maybe I need to build a lot more ice machines. That's probably gonna help me fight the beginning of the end. I bet, I'm willing to bet that's gonna help me fight past the beginning of the end. So if I can stop the beginning of the end, then it'll be the end of the beginning, and then it won't be the beginning of the end. Okay, so the answer is there's neutronium over here, so there was nothing over here. So that is the limit of the rightmost area. I don't know if they would be a douche and put an ocean above me, but it sure looks like they've done that, so never mind, they're a douche. But it is getting colder here. It is a little bit colder here. That's still too warm. All this is starting to get a little too warm, but it's not that bad. It's pretty bad. So how do I fix this? How do I make it not roasty roast? How can it possibly not get roasty toasty in here? That's that's what I'm hoping to understand. This is 62 degrees. That's so hot. It's so much heat. And then this is not enough heat dissipation. It's getting a little better here, especially. It's getting a little better. It's not like a lot better, but I don't know if I have enough ice to really like get to all these points. But now I've got six ice makers, so that's something. They don't take too much power. They generate a lot of heat, and I mean a lot of heat. But it's better than nothing, I guess. It's better than nothing. Yeah, it's probably better than nothing. It's a little better than nothing. Okay, now oxygen is doing pretty good, but for some reason these things aren't able to- aren't able to take in as much carbon dioxide as I would like. They seem to be- now we're at turn of the century. Hey! We made it to a hundred cycles! Hey! Guys! That's pretty good! That's surprisingly pretty good. Hey, we're not dead yet, so that's pretty good. 
Oh, hell yeah, crank those things. Oh, that's so smart. He picks up the water that he's done with and puts them in the plants, and then the cold, cold water is gonna cool down the plant. It's so smart. Oh, it's so smart. And generally, I think overall, we're kind of doing a little bit better. I don't know if it's a perfect distribution, but it looks, to me, like for at least a little bit here. Whoa, whoa, two of them, they got better. Cure a sick duplicate of disease. Ooh, nice. Power wasted a lot, probably from all the coal. Okay, but oxygen is going better. The temperature is not perfect. It's still very warm. But, oh, is that still going? Wait, are we still making mush? How long have we been making mush for? No, don't make mush. Stop, stop that, stop. We don't need to make mush. We got plenty of food. That's not mush. What I should do is I should have this door right here instead. I don't like it, but you know, just cause it's in walking distance it makes it a little bit easier, less of a commute. That one's getting up to 85 degrees Celsius. That's really hot. That one right there, that one's getting real toasty. I don't know if I should have like made a little bit more of a gap between them and my, my environment, but it doesn't seem to be bleeding through that badly, oddly enough. So I think that this uh, process of cooling things down is actually not doing too terrible. And this is getting nice and chilled. Ooh, that's cold. Doodle -doo, doodle -doo, doodle -doo, doodle -doo. How am I gonna get this water out of here? I guess I'm just gonna dump it. I guess what I could do is if I make mesh tiles right here and I just crack the egg, it'll flow out and down there. I, I mean, that's that's what would happen. I don't know if that's the best choice. But that is definitely what would happen. You know, maybe that's, uh, you know, screw it, let's do it. Oh, no, not yet, not, oh, hurry, 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 Mima, 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 yes, Mima with the save. Oh, I forgot about that. Eh, whatever, it's fine. All right, Mima with the save. Okay, cool. Uh, put some nice tile on the groundy. Tile, door, doinkus, doinkus, shawa, doinkus, 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 put a sink there, doinkus, put a bed there, and there, and there, and then a turlet, right there, and there, and then pipe it up. There we go. So, for the first time in a long time, we have more water than we need. Which is amazing. Oh, beginning of the end, 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 beginning of the end. It's the 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 beginning of the end. Give me another person. No, 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 no. Hassan, you look great. Just because you fall asleep doesn't mean we don't need you in here right now. That thing looks dead. That thing looks so dead. Hey. You, or as I like to call you, Skrungo. <laughs> hey, Skrungo. <laughs> I think they must have. I think the developers of this game must have known that people like me, you know, idiots, like to just name their characters absolute nonsense. So, Skrungo, welcome aboard, Skrungo. Hey, welcome aboard. <laughs> Scrunky. Hey, Scrungo. All right, look. Hey, you like cooking? Scrungo is gonna be our cook. Scrungo, listen. You're a good cook, and these fine folks deserve some nice, good food. So that's what you're gonna get. You like that, Scrungo? Now listen, Scrungo, you're gonna do me proud, and you're gonna do this family proud by giving us all your all. And then you, you're gonna get, you're gonna get what you deserve. Which is love and affection. Put these here toodaloo. This is going great. This is going so good. Whoa! I love the little, whoa! They're so cute. They're so cute. Hey, good. Hey, look at this. We don't have to run this the whole time because we don't actually have, oh, this is such a good day. We actually somehow ran ourselves out of that. It's good, it's good, it's a good thing. It's a good thing, guys. So we now don't have to worry about the water problem because our water is doing <laughs> clean, delicious water. There is no water that is cleaner, that is more pure than the water that is in the pig pen colony. I understand your hesitance about the name pig pen, but listen, that is not in any way reflective on the colony as a whole. This colony is a delight, and I am delighted to delight in its delectable delight. How's the temperature? Good, it's getting better. It's getting better every day. So that's good. 
this is bad, but because of this insulating tile here, it's never gonna affect us. Problem solved forever. Colony warming. Pfft. It's just a myth. It's something perpetuated by just a bunch of people who don't know what they're talking about. This colony is nice and cold. Look at it. Pure, clean, cold air. You can't believe it. Negative 32 KDTUs. That's a lot of KDTUs. I don't like the water just kind of leaks out of them. But, you know, whatever. It's cold water. It's better. It's good. It's a good thing. So having been on the verge of collapse, I think we actually have kind of averted disaster for just even a, a little bit of time. It's not perfect by any means. By no stretch of the imagination do I think that we have solved this problem. However, we have done adequately to slow down what was previously inevitable. So that is something. Whether or not this is gonna continue on for the duration of my time here, who's to say? But for now, it's good. And we've welcomed two new members to the colony. Scrungo and Scraggly Ragnar, the- <laughs> What was his name? What was his name? Slickety Ragnar the Great. Of course, how could I forget Mr. The Great? Obviously, you are too great to even possibly remotely forget about. Okay, flooding. Flooding? Flooding? Oh, that's not flooding. Come on, get over yourself. That's barely flooding. We're gonna destroy these now, because we don't need those there. And you're gonna go to... Where's Scrungo? Scrungo! Wait, no. Scrungo? Slickety Ragnar the Great? Ah, there we go. And then we got room for one more, and I probably will have one more. <laughs> it never stops! Can't believe I'm saying it, but hey, I think I'm gonna live for a few more cycles. <laughs> I've got this weird thing that feels a lot like hope in my heart. So that's a new sensation that's sweeping the nation. Okay, next project that I'm gonna do is ambitious, to say the least, but I think it can work. What I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to create a single ocean. I call it my flat ocean theory. I think that if I play my cards right, I can punch a hole in all of these oceans and get it into one big, huge ocean. Now, even just saying that makes my heart drop because I'm like, all I'm doing is I'm creating the recipe for my own disaster. But imagine if we had just one big, beautiful ocean, right? I know. This is a terrible idea. It's a terrible, terrible idea. But I'm gonna do it anyway because I am an adventurer, and I boldly go where no one has ever gone before. And I bet one tile is more than enough to hold back the might of this ocean. I'm not gonna put him there yet. You know what, actually, why am I digging out the abyssalite? That's a perfect wall for my ocean. You know what, I'm actually, I wish I didn't dig out that abyssalite. That would be a perfect wall for my ocean. Let's think about it like that. The abyssalite is a good bowl. Not perfect, but my phone fell out of my pocket. You're gonna be the base of the bowl for now. You're gonna be a secondary wall for the bowl. This is grand project time. Look at what I'm about to accomplish. I feel this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, new test subject. Listen, ooh, never mind, muckroot. I don't need muckroot. You can't build, huh, Harold? Crumb, Wigfred, Carrie, Brumpo. <laughs> Why am I drawn to names that end in bow? I can't name everything like that. No, 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 you're gonna be tiny, sad, sad. <laughs> Tiny sad sack. I don't make fun of his tiny sad sack. No, I, I'm gonna come up with my own name. Call you Yorny. You know, I'm horny for Yorny. <laughs> oh, porny Yorny. <laughs> oh, horny Yorny. <laughs> I'm sorry, Yorny. I'm sorry, Yorny. Oh, porny Yorny. <laughs> That's not funny. That's not funny. It's not porny yorny. <laughs> Where did you come from? Hello, welcome to my house. How are you? 
Uh, stay away from porny yorny, whatever you do. Stay away from old horny yorny. <laughs> you definitely don't want to go near forlorny yorny. <laughs> the last thing you want is an encounter. It's not funny. I don't know why that's funny to me. Because it's not. It's not funny. I don't find it funny at all. Okay, so this is like... This is a stupid project, by the way. Can I just admit that? This is just a terribly stupid project. And I am aware of the fact that it is a terribly stupid project. However, when you give me a place with a bunch of oceans, the first thing I want to do is poke a hole in them and drain them all into one place. I just do. It's the only thing I want in life, ever. I don't know why I need it, but I know I need it. I know that I- what? You just- did you just- you- Alright. Two can play this game. You just trapped Yikachu over there. Good thing I was here to see it. Okay, so with the temperature problem moderately postponed for now, the temperature is going down. Shockingly, it is going down, uh, but that's only because I've got such a high priority on these things. But then again, the ice is only ready, you know, so often, so I guess it, it kind of balances out. But the temperature problem is fine for now. We've got 12 beautiful people, and we've got horny Yorny in here, so that's good. So we're gonna let bygones be bygones, and we're just going to eventually make everything good. I want to eventually, I want to remake the base that I have. God, I know it's like tough to do considering I created like some water-based necessities for the shape of it, but I feel like I could make it a lot more efficient if I didn't have everything on different horizontal, like vertical levels if I had everything horizontal, but that's stretch goal after my ocean adventure. Oh, hello, don't do that. Everything's looking yorny for me. Anyway, I'm gonna get out of here before I cause any more horrible problems. Which I will. I will cause all of the problems. Made him. What? Why? Why? What? Mima! Mima, Mima! Red alert! Red alert! Red alert! Oh, red alert! Oh, red alert! Okay, red alert over. Go to bed, Mima. Go to bed. No, God! Red alert! Red alert! Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye bye! Huh. <laughs>